In this lecture, we are going to discuss different aspects of the phosphomycin antibiotics. So, let's get started. First of all, we will look at the mechanism of action of phosphomycin that how phosphomycin inhibit the synthesis of the peptidoglycan which is the most important component of the bacterial cell wall. Okay. So, if you see the mechanism that the first thing which you have to remember that the cell wall of the bacteria has two components NAM and the NAG. Two components actually present in the cell wall of the bacteria NAM and the NAG. N-acetyl muramic acid and N-acetyl glucosa mean that actually form the glycan chain. Okay. And in between them you will see the presence of the peptide bond. That's why we call peptidoglycan which is present in the cell wall of the bacteria. Next you will see the cell membrane. Okay. So, in the cell membrane you will see the two most important channels through which the phosphomycin will enter into the bacteria. So, first channel is actually called the GLYT glycerol 3 phosphate transport. Here is the first channel through which the phosphomycin will enter into the bacteria. Another channel is the UHPT that is actually hexose phosphate uptake transport. Okay. So, here are basically the two channels through which the phosphomycin will enter into the bacteria. Okay. If I say here is the phosphomycin. Okay. That is actually present. That is phospho, phosphomycin. It will enter into the bacteria through these channels. Okay. So, most important you will see how N-acetyl muramic acid is synthesized in the bacteria. Okay. So, first of all, PEP, phosphoenol pyruvate, will react with the U-NAG. P, phosphoenol pyruvate will react with the UDP, UDP and acetyl and acetyl glucosamine, glucosamine. So, basically N acetyl muramic acid is produced by the N acetyl glucosamine. Okay. Now, PEP phosphoenol pyruvate will react with the UDP and acetyl glucosamine and it will result in the formation of the N acetyl N acetyl muramic acid muramic acid that is the important component of the peptidoglycan and this whole process will happens in the presence of an enzyme and that enzyme is actually called the mur a also known as UDP and acetyl glucosamine in all pyruvyl transferase. So, that enzyme actually helpful in the conversion of the N acetyl glucosamine into the N acetyl muramic acid. Okay. So, incoming phosphomycin actually bind to this enzyme and inhibit the mu A or you can say UDP. N acetyl glucosamine in all pyruvyl transferate. This enzyme, when you see the inhibition of this enzyme, then there is no formation of the muramic acid. If there is no N acetyl muramic acid, then there is disturbance in the synthesis of the peptidoglycan, which is present in the cell wall, because the N acetyl muramic acid is very much important. Simply is that phosphomycin inhibits the mure A enzyme. 
and inhibit the synthesis of the N acetyl muramic acid. When there is no N acetyl muramic acid, then there is no synthesis of the peptidoglycan or you can say cell wall. And ultimately, you will see the lysis of the bacterial cell. So, this is how phosphomycin inhibit or kill the bacteria. So, that's why it is actually bactericidal antibiotic. If we look at the spectrum, so phosphomycin mostly uh, used for the UTI, urinary tract infection caused by the E. coli, E. fecalis, fecalis or proteus. Here are the different species that actually cause the UTI urinary tract infection. It can also be used in the acute cystitis. bladder infection okay next if we look at the administration so actually phosphomycin is given through the oral route okay that's the important thing and the distribution of the phosphomycin in the body is largely towards the kidney bladder and the prostate gland so here are the actually phosphomycin enter into these three organs in high concentration okay if we look at the excretion so phosphomycin is actually excreted in the active form in the urine so actually phosphomycin is ex excreted by the kidney in its active form that's the most important thing okay next if we look at the adverse effects so, most important adverse effects is the headache. You can see the headache after taking the phosphomycin. Okay. You can also see the diarrhea. Diarrhea in that case. Okay. And third adverse effects of the phosphomycin is the nausea. Okay. And last, most important, it can also cause the vaginitis. Vaginitis. Inflammations of the vagina. So, this is all about the mechanism how phosphomycin inhabit the enol pyruvyl transferase and different spectrum of the antimicrobial spectrum of the phosphomycin and the different adverse effects. So, if you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.